Good morning, everyone. I'm Laura Simpson with Web Luminary, and I wanted to uh, pop on here real quick and show you how to fix and how to find broken links on your website. So I'm going to share my screen, but I'll tell you the story while I'm doing that. I uh, got an email today from one of my clients saying, um, I noticed, I first thought someone had hacked me. <laughs> I, people, this could happen, but I, it, it made me laugh um, because I'm getting a 404 error on these links. I'm gonna show you the website in question and show you what that looks like. Um, so my client is a sports writer and he blogs, oh, probably up to five to seven articles a week. And in this particular article that um, is very long, it's one of his cornerstone pieces. He has links at the bottom. Sorry for all the scrolling. Here we go. He has links at the bottom to some of his other articles. And I fixed a couple of them, but I'm gonna show you what happens when I click on this one. Oh, it works. Hold on, let's find one that doesn't work. Here we go. This one doesn't work. And it's giving me a 404. Sorry, we can't find that page. What you're looking for, and you'll see that this is the link. It's right here at the top. This is the link that it came up with. So what happened? Well, that blog moved. And if I had known it at the time that he was going to be going in and editing his blog post, I may not have set up his permalinks this way, but in English, what I mean is that the date is part of his links. And, um, but also the name. So this is a cautionary tale. Like once you've picked the name and it's been out for a long time of your blog post, don't change it. Because if you've ever linked to that, then the link has changed. The name is, the name of the article is your name, link. So where is the name of the article? How do we fix this? Um, let's go find it. So I'm actually going to log in to his website and I'm already logged in. Um, hopefully you know how to log into a WordPress website. And I'm going to go to the post and I'm going to find this article. And it's Willie Ray Smith Sr. Courted Jerry. Hopefully that's enough. There's a lot of stuff here. I'm going to exit out. Sorry. Um, right here, there's a full text search. This, he has, this website has been live almost a year. And as you can see, he has 235 posted articles. Um, so averaging a little bit more than one a week, um, we may not work during the holidays. So let's see, Willie Ray Smith Sr. And then it had Jerry in here. So let's find the real post. This is the right one. So Daughtery and Willie Ray Smith Sr. courted Jerry Lavas to board Underground Railroad. So here's the post that we're trying to link to here, but we're not linking to here. So let's view it. So all you have to do is now we found it, we're gonna hit view. And here it is. And I'm gonna move this down a little bit just so we can see. So what happened? The link has 2020.05 as the date, but it's 2020.10. I don't know why I went backwards, but um, sometimes he does change the date. 
other than that, it looks like the, the name has changed, hasn't changed. So let's go here. This is, we clicked the link and ended up with a 404, but if I hit the back link, we'll go to where we came from. And we're gonna fix this link. So it's this one we're trying to fix. And as you can see also, if you highlight this, in this bottom left corner, which is right here, if I move my mouse up, it kind of pops up and tells you where it's going. So that's another way to kind of see where it's going, but it's a long URL and not all of this. Well, no, all the mind is displaying right now. So you can kind of see that. Um, I don't have two mouses to, <laughs> to point at it, but the bottom left. Mm. So we're going to fix it. So how do you fix a link? And this is also an explanation on how to add a link. So let's edit the post. Now we're, it's a very long article. So I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom real fast because I know this is at the bottom. So you have to know where it is and then highlight all the words. And it's not, all right, hopefully. So it's not liking the fact that I highlighted it all. Okay, just had a little bit too much highlighted. So as I highlight this, you see the little link thing. I can unlink it, but really what I wanna do is fix it. So I'm gonna hit edit. And then I'm going to go over here to the correct link, highlight this, and I'm going to show you the steps, edit, copy. You can also use your keyboard shortcuts. And then I'm going to make sure this is all highlighted to replace it and say edit, paste. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. That's kind of hard to see, but you heard that, I hope. And now it should be fixed, but I have to hit update. And now I have fixed this link. And the same, and the steps are basically the same. Um, if you didn't have a link there, you would highlight the text. Let's pretend we're going to do one here. Highlight this text and see this little link. We click that and then we hit paste into there and those words would be highlighted in the link. But I'm not gonna do that because I'd be messing up his post. Um, I'm just gonna hit update one more time and we're gonna view it. And then we'll scroll all the way down. This is at the bottom of the article. And now this should work. There we go. This is the correct article. Now I'm going to show you one more thing. So this begs the question, what else is broken? Someone calls you, emails you, and says, hey, I clicked on a link on your website, and it, it took me to an error page. So I have gone into brokenlinkcheck.com. This is free and I have typed in the URL of my client, tomshanahan.report, and then it makes you type in a security code. And these are all the broken links. A lot of these are links to his old website. Well, no, maybe not. Oh yeah, anything that starts with the word Shanahan instead of Tom Shanahan or links to his old report. So all of these are errors he needs to fix. So if you go to this one, you can go in, I'm gonna go to this one. You can click on the URL and it'll take you right there. where the link is bad and then 
you can highlight better way to do this is on the source. Yeah, I know it's it's all code, but if you copy part of this, go to the source, say edit, find, find, and type that in, it's actually telling you, click here for a lengthy list of the Duffy Daughtery's. So all of this, this is this gives you a hint as to where it is on the page. Click here for a lengthy list. Um, yeah, so it's right here. So this is the link that needs to be fixed. I mean, if it had been a long article like the one we were just on, um, this would have been very helpful, but it's right at the top. Um, I probably would have found it anyway. However, this is the link that's missing. So broken link checker will tell you the page and exactly the name of the link, what it's linking to and what's wrong and the text and it is telling me the text that's associated with it. And you'll find you can go in and fix all these by hand. So, oh, and it's still going through, there's 31. And um, they're almost done looking through all his posts. So hopefully that'll be it. But um, that is good to know. It's bad for the user experience to be getting broken links and um, backlinks. So be careful on changing the name of your posts. Let me share my screen again and, and emphasize that. I'm, in, I'm going into this blog post. And this is the name right here. If you go in we, a week later, the next day you'll probably be okay. But well, no, if you're linking to this and then you change the title to this, you are changing the link. So before you link to things, make sure the title, this is the title right here, is not change. Or um, there's some there are there are ways to stop that from happening, but that's kind of advanced, and I'm not going to go over that. So be clear on your title. Don't go around changing it. I give this advice um, to most. Well, I give a, it's advice to my clients, but um, sometimes I forget to give them that advice. And the other thing is, don't change. Don't go in and add to your post without doing a redirect. So actually, I am going to show you this. This is a um, another one of my clients. Okay, I'm still logged in. Yes, I am. All right. And there's a plugin. called 301 redirects. And because he had a design website that had um, links called apartment complex painting, but we don't have those links on this new website. I'm using, this is the old, this is the new, where I want it to go. And you can change the name too. So if it's my blog, post, you can change the name to he doesn't have any blog posts. So let's just pretend this is you pick the new blog post name. So you give it the old name and you give it the new name and you hit save. I'm not going to do that. Um, and then it'll redirect. So that's it. But do not, you do not want these. Oh, there's, I can't, yeah. 
you do not want these four or four errors. So that's my tip. Go to free free broken link, see if you have any of uh, brokenlinkcheck.com and make sure you don't have any. So that way um, you don't have to wait to find out the hard way. Okay, that's it. Thank you.